the Deputy Prime Minister. Well, um, Mr Speaker, I thank you very much you. for that, and I thank the honourable member for a question. And I want to say that our agricultural production has been has grown incredibly under this coalition government. In fact, by about 29 per cent since we've been the government. And we continue to work so hard, and Queensland's gross value of ag production has grown by 19 per cent. Agriculture under the coalition government has been one of the great success stories of this government, and we have brought the money back into our nation. And we continue, continue to work for our nation in the building of uh, massive infrastructure. It's very important that we understand the inland rail. The inland rail, a corridor of commerce from Melbourne up to Brisbane, through the inland, through Seymour, Wodonga, Parks, um, Narrabri, Moree, Gundawindi. This gives the capacity for our nation to grow even further. What we note as well is in that as, as, as it grows, it has the capacity for people to have greater opportunities out in regional areas. We also know that the Labor Party, though, on the other side, have no intention of building inland rail. They've put no money towards inland rail, as close as they can get, to say it's a good idea. Uh, we also stand behind Rookwood Weir. Rookwood Weir is terribly important to the member for Capricorn and the member for Flynn. We put $130 million on the table for that. And the Labor Party, has, because they just want green votes, is willing to flush central Queensland down the toilet. They don't believe in central Queensland. They don't believe in the coal miners in central Queensland. They don't believe in the cattle producers in central Queensland. They don't believe in the, the dams for central Queensland. They believe in nothing for central Queensland. As close as we have got. When we asked the uh, Leader of the Opposition to go to Central Queensland, what is he offering the, the member for Capricornia? Map, public map. transport. Public transport. A new light rail for Alpha. Well, I don't know what we're going to have. A new ferry across the Fitzroy tramp, River. Tramp. That's about as close as we get of anything positive from the Labor Party that used to represent Labourers, that once upon a time represented Labourers, but they don't represent Labourers anymore. No Labourers over there anymore. So they've given up on Labourers, and that's a shame because up in Townsville, with unemployment, youth unemployment near 20 per cent, what does the member of Townsville do for North Queensland? When's she going to stand up for North Queensland? When's she going to stand up for her people? When's she going to go into bat? When's she going to stand up for the Galilee Basin? When's she going to get that coal mine? Of course she won't. The Labor Party have nothing to say for jobs in this chamber. They have nothing but this peculiar art form, but parliamentary tactics. Why don't you start standing up for jobs? And while you're at it, we see the new taxes you're bringing in—130 billion in taxes and family trust. Family trust. What are they going to tax? What are these going to tax? And let's see who's got a family trust. The Labor Party. Well, the member for Sydney's got a family trust. The member for Batman's got a family trust. The member for Jellybrand's got a family trust. The member for Bird's got a family has got the trust. The member for Wills. The member for Longman. Well, a lot of people who apparently the, the Labor Party Prime don't Prime believe in, in their own side. Concluded.